Hello, this time I will make a simple material using Voronoi noise. First, in order to use water normal in engine content, check show engine content in setting. Then, create a material. Create a texture sample node. And set it to water normal texture in engine content. It doesn't matter if you set a different normal texture. Next, create an absolute world position node and create to create a divide node. Click left mouse button while holding down T key on the keyboard to divide the pixels of the world position. Next, click left mouse button while holding down the S key on the keyboard to create a parameter node and connect it to divide so that you can set the value. Next, we create a vector noise node that we can set the Voronoi noise to. Set the function of the node to Voronoi to make the material fragmented with the Voronoi pattern. Next, create a sign node and connect it with vector noise. Then fragments of Voronoi noise receive random hue values between 0 and 1 depending on the position and all appear in random colors. Now let's set motion to this noise. Create an add node. Next, create a time node and create a multiply node. And to adjust the moving speed of the noise, create a parameter node and connect the nodes as shown in the video. As you connect the nodes, the pieces of Voronoi noise start moving. Next, you need to connect the sign node to the texture sample UV pin to set normal. But since the world position is in vector 4 format, an error occurs when you connect it. Therefore, in order to change it to a vector 2 UV type, use the component mask node to change the type, and then connect it to the UV pin of the texture sample node. Now if you check the material with normal texture, you can see that the Voronoi pattern has a sense of volume. Next, let's create a base color. Create another texture sample node and set hair debug color texture with a rainbow color. Then we use the panner node to set up the movement of the texture. We use the time node and the multiply node for the movement. Next, create a hue shift node that can change the hue value of the texture. And connect the nodes like in the video so that the color of the texture changes over time. Next, add the Voronoid pattern and time nodes. Then, add it to the sign node so that each fragment shows between minus 1 and 1 value repeatedly. Next, by using a power node, make values between 0 and 1. Next, to create alert node, click the left mouse button while holding down the L key on the keyboard. Then, use the previous result as the alpha value of it. Then add color to the pattern by connecting the hue shift node to the lurk node, as shown in the video. Since the color is a bit strong, reduce the brightness using multiply and connect it to the base color. Connect the texture sample node Connect it to normal to metallic and roughness to give each fragment pattern different roughness and luster values. When finished, save and return to the content drawer. Drag a cube from place actor to the level. Apply the material created so far. Thank you.